Hi, this is your host, Sublim Bharatiya, and welcome to another episode of TFL Let's Talk. And today we have with us once again Varun Talwar, co founder of Tech Trade. Varun, it's great to have you back on the show. Thank you, Sapna. Glad to be back. It's my pleasure. And today we are going to talk about two recent news items uh, your work with US Air Force and collaboration with Bloomberg. But before we go deeper into these stories, let's start with a quick intro about Tech Trade. Tech Trade is. Uh company which is uh, focusing on building the next-gen modern traffic platform based on uh, Envoy, Gateway, and Istio Service Mesh. And we have, um, you know, open source and enterprise offerings in that space. And, uh, you know, the business has been growing well. Users have been and customers have been growing since we last spoke. So pretty good. Excited about the growth. Now let's talk about the work that you folks are doing with the U.S. Air Force. This has been an interesting journey, right? We have been working with U.S. Air Force for several years, almost uh, last um, four years or so, uh, providing service mesh uh, into their enterprise DevSecOps platform, which is called Platform One. And um, we've really been delivering their uh, critical container security uh, and runtime security stack. Uh, and which is very critical to them, as you can imagine, for that kind of uh, environment. And uh, we are extending it to have um, work, make it work towards continuous compliance for uh, you know national defense-related needs. So yeah, it's it's been a very uh, fruitful partnership, and uh, you know I'm excited to say that we are doubling down on uh, newer use cases with them. Now let's go a bit deeper into these contracts with the U.S. Air Force, which also includes cybersecurity projects. In terms of the newer use cases, right, so, and that's where the additional uh, contracts have been signed, is uh, what, first one is to add um, a new mode into their uh, stack, which is called uh, ambient mode to these enterprise ready capabilities and uh, as you know as most people who are following this space may know that uh, has, you know early on Istio allowed one mode which is the sidecar mode and uh, now there is the availability of a, a different mode called ambient mode which is without sidecar which can do certain uh, L4 capabilities uh, without having the sidecar there that is beneficial in terms of uh, resource cost optimization, lesser management headache, and um, uh, you know also in certain cases like uh, beneficial for latency. So that's the first thing, which is a newer use case that's trying being tried for their applications. Uh, the second one is, as I touched upon, taking this uh, container security and runtime security and encryption stack all the way to uh, continuous compliance. And the way we would do this is using something called uh, OSCAL. So for people who are not familiar, uh, this is a standard that's uh, uh, built and hardened by NIST. It's called OSCAL stands for Open Security Controls Assessment Language. And what this basically does is um, spits out a compliance output in a format that's machine readable. So the benefit of that is, um, you know, you have a real-time controller, which is like looking at all the configurations in your cluster and generating out a report like, are you still compliant with all, are all your controls, let's say for a FedRAMP moderate, still being met within the cluster? And it spits it out in a way that is machine readable and machine digestible. So you can have a completely automated way uh, to do a real-time check of like, am I still compliant to these controls? And, you know, it's a big deal because um, uh, I think, you know, cloud-native dynamism uh, of workloads and containers and Kubernetes is uh, completely, uh, is very far and completely opposite to like what, how compliance and audits have been running, which is you know, once a year process of how an auditor would come and look at your controls and say you're good. And um, 
so those two worlds i think are coming closer together where uh, compliance controls is also something which can be uh, dynamic real time and uh, being measured in that form so i think it's a it's not just a big step forward between this partnership i think it's a big step forward as an industry for cloud native just for the sake of our audience i also want to emphasize on the role of networking and security especially in the context of your contract with air force as you know some of you know that um, you know service mesh technology and istio and what it trade does is offloading a lot of runtime security from application to network right so it's essentially saying that um, encryption authentication authorization should should be offloaded from uh, app developers of app teams and that's something that you can offload to the service mesh so you know and that's a big uh, difference between how uh, things used to work versus things are working now and when you do that uh, there's a few things that happen right you do it uh, consistently across the applications it's visible to everyone security teams and application teams and platform teams it's a uh, way easier to uh, actually con- you know implement because like one policy of mtls can basically encrypt all your traffic without changing anything in applications which is way easier than going to every application team and changing you know a tls version and then even after doing that uh, you know the security team won't have visibility of what's actually happening so this is a huge step forward in terms of like uh, not just doing it much easily but also uh doing it in a way that it's visible and now doing it in a way that it's auditable and uh sort of uh verifiable from a compliance standpoint right so uh so that's a big change i think and uh something that we are uh starting with the air force but something that the other industry people will take on and we are educating not just the end users but also the auditors and the you know those people that this is where the world is you know moving towards and the second story is about your collaboration with bloomberg what is that all about the engineers from tetrate and bloomberg have partnered together um to basically develop uh, uh a set of like capabilities uh which are needed for your you know new uh, ai stack and ai infrastructure is basically developing an innovative uh, set of capabilities which are getting added into envoy and envoy gateway which is as many of you know envoy is a, a popular cncf project and um, so this is a collaboration where we are going to add this into envoy and make envoy and envoy gateway um, capable of handling not just http and tcp traffic but also llm traffic uh, as people are starting to use more and more you know models for llm and uh, trying different kinds of models um so this becomes uh, a way for them to use it uh, in an easier way so it's being called what we're calling envoy ai gateway it will simplify mm-hmm. AI integration by providing a single unified API with which developers interact and through from that single unified API it can route to different uh, models uh, as well as do things which are unique to this use case like um you know by default building in authentication to an open AI or an AWS bedrock or you know tokens which is the currency used for ai applications rate limiting based on tokens rather than just request count so these are the you know unique character capabilities that were being uh observed as a need from the bloomberg engineers so the way this came about is they came to the envoy community and spoke to us hey we are seeing this need you know interestingly we were seeing the same need as well because some other people had mentioned to us 
So we decided like, okay, let's just partner together and, you know, do it in a way that will be beneficial for all. Let's just add it to the community project and solve this problem. And uh, I think, uh, you know, just in the last few days since we've made the announcement, we've come people come out of the woodwork of like, oh, we are facing the same thing. We'd like to talk to you about it. So I think uh, this is going to become uh, a core piece in AI infrastructure stack. And a lot of companies are trying to, you know, figure out that stack right now. Varun, thank you so much for taking time out today and talk about these two, you know, collaboration and contract. Thanks for also sharing great insights. And I would love to have you back on the show. Thank you. Thank you, Sapna. It was great to chat to you.